Hello everyone, welcome to a new video by Draco Free Center. Today we have uh, the Dofi deck updated for OP04. So uh, this game has been winning a lot of tournaments lately and it's been risen a lot in, in popularity, but uh, it's a pretty hard deck to build because you need the Jimbes that were exclusive to the treasure, the first treasure cup. So that's why you don't see it that often, but it's really, really uh, getting a lot of traction and has been winning some big tournaments lately. And it's as fun as it was in OP01 or even better because it has a lot of support events that make those matches that used to be really, really hard in OP01 and OP02. They're a lot more playable now. I'm not saying they're going to be easy, but they're a lot more playable. And, you know, Dofi is a really popular character in One Piece. So if this is something you want to play, uh, it's a really good moment for it. So here we go, starting off with Dofi, uh, his ability, if he has two Dons attached, you may pay one when he attacks and you reveal the top card of your deck. And if it's a Shishibukai, you can play it rested if it's a cost four or less. So uh, that's a really nice ability. And now let's see the Peronas. Of course, the Perona is the most important card of the deck so that we can organize the top uh, as soon as turn one. And you always want to mulligan to have a Perona in your hand. If you don't have a Perona, uh, you at least need to have a uh, Dofi in your hand to be able to play this deck. So try to find any of those two. If not, uh, you're going to have to wait, wait it out and try to play the ability. Maybe you get lucky, but ideally uh, you need to have a Perona or a Dofi to be organized, to organize the top of your deck. So we're playing uh, four Peronas. Basically what she does is on play, you can look at the top five cards of your deck and put them back in any order you want. You can also send them to the bottom, but if you send them to the bottom, you have to send all the cards to the bottom. So uh, only do that if nothing that's on top is going to work for you, but that's Probably not going to happen because we're also playing more Shishibukais that we used to play in OP01 uh, because we got more support over the uh, over, over time uh, with the Jinbei and with the Gekko Moria Vanilla 6000. So uh, it's very, very improbable that, that you're not going to have a really nice um, set of cards to organize off the top of your deck. Uh, next up, we have four Kayas. This is a great addition, counter plus 2000. We used to play Alvira to have the 2000, but... Uh, Kaya is a lot better with her draw two cards and trash two cards from your hand, just in case you're getting bricked. Uh, it's not that probable to get bricked uh, with this deck because we're not playing that many uh, big uh, cards. We're only playing four cards that don't have a counter with Kaido and three uh, Mihawks. So that shouldn't be a problem, but if it is, you have the, op the option with Kaya. Next up, we have three uh, Laws. Law is the one cost blocker. Uh, it's really, really good. Let me get this off the way because it's really reflecting on the cards. And there you go. Um, so you have, you can play him at the top. That's really important. I'm going to be mentioning which cards you can play at the top so you can uh, t have that in mind. Next up, we have the four Dofis. Same ability as Perona, but he's also a blocker. And uh, you can play him at the top as well. Uh, next up, we have four Kumas. Uh, Kumas amazing because he He's not only a blocker, but when he dies, he can bring in uh, a Pacifista from your hand. So we're playing three vanilla Pacifistas, and the Pacifista is really, really important when you want to play really aggressively. So prioritize playing your Pacifistas and playing your uh, vanilla Morias when you have to be really aggressive, especially against um, Whitebeard or any other deck that suffers from a really high-powered uh, board that's pressuring them. So don't focus on playing your blockers and playing maybe a longer game. That's usually the way Duffy plays. And just like establishing a really big board presence. Don't do that when you need to play aggressively. When you have to go aggressive, find your Morias and find your Pacifistas and just play them right out of your hand. Use Kuma to play him and apply really strong pressure to your opponent. So the Kumas, uh, I mean the Morias, you can play off the top of your deck. The Pacifista, you can't. So be careful. Sometimes uh, we get confused because most of the things we play are Shishibukais. And when you try to play um, a Pacifista from top, if you get confused, uh, you, you can't do that because he's a biological or a navy. So watch out for that. Next up, we have four Gekko Morias. Uh, Gekko Moria is amazing. When he comes into play, you can grab a Shishibukai from your trash and put it in your hand. This keeps our hand really healthy, as well as the Boa Hancocks. So, Boa is really, really good. She used to suffer a little bit before because people played a lot, a lot of uh, hate against her, uh, especially those green decks that used to give us a lot of uh, trouble before. Uh, but the Boa, 
doesn't have that many counters now, or they're not that prevalent in the meta. So usually you can draw with her ability. So both Boa and Moria help you a lot to keep your hand healthy. So it's really, really worth it. They're very nice cards. Both of them you can play off the top of your deck. Next up, we have Mihawk. Mihawk is mostly a counter plus 2,000. Uh, but you can also play him, and it's the same thing as Kaya. If you're bricked for whatever reason, uh, you can use his ability to draw to and trash to. And there's a really nice play, which is block those 6,000 attacks with your Mihawk early, because if you know you're going to be playing the Gecko. A lot of times, you play the Gecko, and you don't have that many good options in your trash. Make sure you have a Mihawk, so that you can block a big attack and grab it again and you have a 2k counter back in your hand for next turn that's a really nice play next up we have four jimbes jimbe is really really good uh he's a four cost 5000 so you can play him off the top of your deck that's really important he's he is a shishibukai not like the jimbes before that were only straw hats and when on ko uh you can return a character cost three or less from your opponent to the bottom of his deck so amazing removal, amazing for good pressure, and you can play him off the top of your deck. So basically, these seven cards we didn't have before, and they really add stability to the deck because you have more Shishibukais in your deck, and they are great, great additions. You're, you're not just playing them because they're uh, Shishibukais, you're playing them because they're really, really amazing cards. Next up, we have, uh, let's finish up with the characters. We have three Mihawks. Uh, they fired up in price lately because they're being played a lot. Uh, they're a great counter for, to many of the cards that are being played, actually. Uh, good against green, good against yellow, good against a lot of decks, so an, a great addition. And we're playing one Kaido uh, just to have that opportunity to send a cost 8 and a cost 3 to your hand and close up the games. He's also at 12,000, so that's amazing to get rid of those big bodies your opponents can be playing. And this event is really, really amazing. We're playing three of the Gum Gum Red Rock. Uh, with this, we can get rid of any card, so if doesn't matter what they're playing. Uh, you can send that big threat to the bottom of your opponent library and get rid of it. And we're also playing four, uh, I mean two, 3,000 worlds. Um, that basically the same thing. If they have anything cost five or less that is pressuring you or that is giving you trouble, uh, or maybe something that's going to affect your boa, anything like that, you can use it. Uh, send it to the bottom and keep on your game plan. So uh, this is the deck right now. It's really, really nice. I really recommend you try it out if you, if you like Tofi and go ahead and win some tournaments with it. Remember to subscribe, comment, and like. See you in the next video.